Hey yo, this is Rusk Nation, we're gonna be here. Uh, we read chapter 47, this is another mature chapter, so on this series called Miss Night to, to just continue. Chapter 47, mature. Dear Russell was far too overdressed for my liking, so I decided to do something about it. My body was still wrecked with the pleasure he had created, but I shifted to straddle his waist. The ache in my side, the ache in my, the ache in my side intensified, but so did my ache for him. The moment his hands tightened on my thighs, his eyes flicked down to my side. I cut his chin with my fingers and kept his eyes on mine. His golden gaze melted my insides, my paws with jelly against my chest. Like a drum. If you, if you he began concern leeching from his voice. Hey, I pressed my lips to his to cut him off. I thought I told you not to be gentle, didn't I? His real art and he chuckled a little. The sound vibrating deliciously through my naked body. He nodded it my scorn with an appreciative glance. You nodded his fingers tightening. You did. In a pretty poor Italian accent, I might add. I'm sitting on top of you naked and you want to critique my accent? I, I, I cocked my head and he shook his head with a slight smile. No. No. D didn't think so. So I pushed him back on the bed, my knees on either side of him, as my lips kissed his hungry, as my lips kissed his hungry. My lips trailed his neck, leaving a mark on him the way my body was littered with his. He let it continue for maybe 30 seconds, let me believe that I was in control, that he was at my mercy for 30 seconds. Then he flipped us over in one fell swoop, so I was laying in prone on my back. Dark curls hung over his forehead as he stood back from the bed, tying off his jacket coat. He, his dark gaze stayed fixed on mine, eyes trailing down my body. Dio's fingers worked the latch on his belt, cocking his head to the side and watching me and, w and watching me while he pulled it off. My eyes, my eyes widened as he ran the leather there through his hands, kicking his pants away. Not yet. He mused, glancing down at the bell. Do I detect interest? I felt the blush all over my body, every inch bare on, bare to his discerning and hungry gaze. I couldn't tear my eyes away from the letter on the letter or his hands, so I merely nodded. You like it, don't you? What? I managed to be the fear, Miss Knight. He mused, you crave it. His fingers moved definitely on the buttons. His fingers moved definitely on the buttons of his shirt. While he waited for my answers, every inch of golden skin he re revealed increased the power he had over me. All I could do was watch as he sh as he shrugged it off broad shoulders, revealing the, the dark artistic lines of his tattoos and the contours of his muscles. I want you, I said after a moment. I crave you. And then it made it... Was the fear or the excitement of being with him that let my 
get on fire. But my heart was pounding because of the way he made my sister laugh and the stubbornness of his protection. Because he was... Because he was... Is, is steady and safe and smart. And it was new and frightening to love and be loved this way. I didn't know what he read on my expression, but whatever he saw drove him forward. His body covered my his knees between my legs, and the fire that he started earlier was back in full vengeance. The other lips were on my neck, sucking and biting. My fingers dug deep into his curls, holding him to me. One of his hands wrapped around my throat like a necklace to match my new anklet, and the other, and the other went to my center. His thumb wrapped silk circles with my eyelids. Fire shut. Kester and Mia, just squeezed my throat for for an emphasis. And something between a whimper and a mom escaped my lips. His hand moved up from my throat to brush his thumb over my bottom lip. Gold eyes follow his own movements, flames flickering in his irises. So are these. So are these. Joe pressed his lips to mine his tongue, dominating mine before pulling back to kiss my nose. And this, and this, and my eyes, and these. He pulled back, slightly lifting the thumb that was rubbing against me, making me ache for him. He lifted it, it to his mouth and closed his eyes as he tasted. Fuck. He his ear to support a empty meal. I put my mouth to chive him for the Italian, but no sound came out as his mouth, as his mouth covered mine in another searching kiss. His hand slid under my thigh, pulling my knee up beside him, and then he shifted between my legs, pumping himself with one hand and lifting my ankle to his shoulder, with the. Other. He pressed his lips to my ankle, just under the spot where his initials dangled. I swallowed at the look on his face when his eyes found mine again. He was positioned only inches from my entrance, and I tried to shift forward on the bed, tried to close the distance. He gripped my hand, he gripped my hips, starting my m- Movements. You're beautiful. You're beautiful, little Zina, and you are mine. His whispered command was the only sound until I gasped the moment he thrust into me. The sound he made in response was primal, awakening some simmering part of me. My eyes squeezed shut at the fullness of him, at the need that grew in response. Joe lingered, letting me adjust to the size of him before he moved. The Mia Brava the Gaza. Vaguely, some other part of me that was drunk on the feeling of his body atop mine knew what the words meant, but she was incapable of thinking clearly. She was merely capable of a of arching her back out the bed so the man she loved could take her more completely. Gio groaned, taking the new access as as permission to move slowly at first, one hand sliding down my leg to the space where we were connected and the other brushed the hair away from my face. He His, his pace picked up and in my hands search for anything to ground me. Reaching for the sheets, his shoulders, his back, my hips lifted to meet his and his responding ground was enough to make my eyes shut. 
They shut open the moment his hands was around my throat. Eyes open as well. At his command, understand? Yes, good girl. And then his rhythms turned when this pushing. His hands getting my hips so he could and go deeper so he, he could so he could hit the spot that made the fire in my core grow. Oh my god, I breathe my fist squeezing. Oh my god, I breathe my fist squeezing the sheets. You yeah, lower my leg from his shoulder and the jank me toward him, slipping me onto my belly with surprising ease. His hand fisted my hair, then gave me up against his chest before sliding into me again. He can help you here, dear tug on my ear though, with his teeth in with his teeth in each other. Put your hands on the headboard, gorgeous. And did as he instructed as and dust myself in the feeling of his body slamming into into mine. My eyes squeezed shut as he found the same spot again and then again and then again. The fire grew with each stroke with Every inch he gave, with the sounds of his pleasure filling my ear. Then we were burning together. His hands covered mine on the headboard, and my walls shuddered around him as we left the fire enveloped us. He pulled me back against his chest while we let the flames wash over us. That needed inside me, the one that I felt like a constant taunt muscle. Was relaxed for once as we breathed against each other, and he wrapped muscular arms around my middle. Neither of us moved for a long time, merely breathing with one another. Joe was revived first, pressing his lips into my shoulder and rubbing his fingers against my collarbones. Te amo, te amo, te amo. He whispered against my ears, and even in my mindless state, I would always know what those words meant. We should have done that a long time ago. I breathed in response. He laughed against my back, and I felt the hardness of his chest shake against mine. After a moment, I felt his fingertips slide down my side tower where my wounds were still healing. He brushed around the outside of the pocket skin, and I was slightly just. Still, are you in pain? I lay my back, I lay my head back against his chest. Nothing but please, dear. I was a truth. It was a truth. While the while the orgasm still wrecked my body, I was incapable of feeling the soreness from the wounds. From the wounds, he pulled me away from our warmth. He to look down at my face and I rolled my eyes at the concern there. I pushed him back on the pillows and laid my chin on his ad on his abdomen. My eyes rose to his gazing at him through my eyelashes as I traced the planes of the muscles on his on his chest. Don't you're still wounded, dear mother against my hair. I I should have been even way more careful. I'm healing. It still hurts. It wasn't a question, but yes, sometimes. I pushed up on his chest to look at the expression on his face. He wasn't disappointed, and he didn't look surprised. Somehow, he knew that I wasn't fully healed, and he held back. You were careful with me, I frowned. You said you wouldn't be. And that... He chuckled. Oh no, I suppose we'll just have to try again. And and again, how it looks perfect, right? With the way he licked his lips, I knew that there was certainly more to come and my body seemed to awaken again with anticipation. He was going hard beneath me again. Apparently his body had also awoken. The quicker Recovery time made my mouth water, and I suppose it was a natural result of waiting and wanting so long. You already occupy all of my thoughts, little Sina, but fuck. He murdered, stroking his finger down the center of my naked chest. 
Now this is going to be distracting. And he ignited the fire again, his body covered mine once more. Thank you for reading, that's Thank you for, for reading, that's This was originally going to be combined with the last chapter, but at last, here we are with part two. Stay safe and be kind, my friends. Thanks for watching. So, guys, new other fun videos. I will do more. I will do more card gameplays soon. Just stay with me, guys. And then, see you guys. Bye, bye. Come on, guys. Take care and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.